no yoga for you. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel Dot Media. It's the story that started off small, university story picked up by local media and then spread around the world. The New York Times, the Daily Mail, Washington Post. This story has shown up all over the place. The University of Ottawa Student Federation canceling a yoga class that was offered for free because they claimed it was cultural appropriation that unless you fully understood the culture yoga was coming from, you shouldn't be participating in it. Now, it's been ridiculed around the world. The Student Federation kind of backing off. They've now told local media here in Ottawa that, well, we didn't cancel the class. It's under review, could be brought back next year. That's only after they've been mocked literally around the world. But how are students reacting on campus? Well, some do think that this is the Student Federation just acting silly and going way too far. I'm all for political correctness, and I don't think we have enough of that in our life. But to have something like that that's not helping anybody but taking away from a lot of other people who are just trying to enjoy something, it hurts everybody and isn't helping anything. It's a stress-busting activity. It's meant for student health, and people are taking a cultural and religious proponent of it and blowing it out of proportion. Others like Ayub think this is a real issue, that cultural appropriation shouldn't be happening in any form could be seen as cultural appropriation if, uh, for example, uh, last week I saw yoga classes with beer in them. So it defeats kind of like the spiritual aspect why like uh, in the East they, they practice yoga. Now, English professor Janice Fiamengo, she says this is a, an example of students just focusing on triviality and on emotion instead of knowledge. More and more we are seeing in many arts and social sciences faculties an overemphasis on cultural sensitivity as the primary value that students are to understand um, without necessarily any explicit historical knowledge or um, really um, hard and fast understanding of where these debates begin and, and uh, so that students are taught that what they should be above all is understanding and empathetic rather than knowledgeable and I think that's really too bad. Most shocking to me was that most of the students here weren't aware. I stood on a busy street corner in the middle of the university for about half an hour asking students if they wanted to comment. Most legitimately had not heard of this story. I don't know if that's a good thing. It, shows that they're just not paying attention to the petty student politics, or is it a bad thing that they were completely unaware that the entire world is talking about their campus and they're clueless? Another question about this, uh, what does it say about our universities that this is, this is what at least the student leadership is focused on? Is it even worth getting a liberal arts degree anymore if this is what students and their leadership want to focus on? Does it show that maybe the money being invested by by parents, by students themselves, just isn't worth it. I also ask, where does it stop? If you can't practice yoga in the West because it's cultural appropriation, well, what about wearing suits? That's a Western European thing. Do you have to be of a Western European background to wear a suit or a winter coat? What about going to university itself? They, they originated in Western Europe. Should we shut down universities that aren't in Western Europe or areas settled by Western Europeans? You see the folly of the logic in this. You see the ridiculousness of it. Perhaps it's best summed up by saying that, well, maybe what this student leadership here at the University of focusing on is focusing on is first world problems. It shows that they don't have better things to talk about. Yes, they could be talking about the, the terror attacks in Paris. They could be talking about the global terror threat. That might be seen as a microaggression on someone or some other thing. But it does show that they don't have real problems here at the university to solve if they're looking to solve this one.